All right. I'd like to call the January 3rd meeting of the Open Space Greenways Committee to order. And maybe we should start with a pledge of allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Pam. Pam, how are you? Hey, Pam. <laughs> okay. Um, I believe all of you have copies of the minutes of the last meeting. Uh, are there any changes to the meeting, to the minutes, other than? Um, misspelling of Ms. Frucci's name in the in attendance. Okay. That change. And the other one is we have uh, Rose Ellison down twice. I'll change that. <laughs> Any other changes that we should make? I'm not aware. Okay. If not, I make a motion that we approve the minutes of the meeting as amended. All in favor? Okay, so uh, let's move along to the uh, to the agenda. Can as far as the liaison reports, uh, Leah, is there anything from the recreation um, department? Just that um, we have formed a subcommittee, which I'm a member of, uh, to look at the townships board uh, request about a non-motorized launch site, and um, at the water's edge. Okay. Okay. And so I'm going to pull that history together, and uh, and we will be meeting sometime in January too. At Water's Edge, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the non-motorized at Water's gotcha. Edge. Okay. Somewhere like in kayaks, the kayaks, uh, canoes, rowboats, right? Rowboats, rubber boats, rubber duckies. <laughs> 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 Anything else? Uh, uh, no, I don't think so, unless you have questions of me. Um, no, no. Okay. We'll, be meeting, we'll be meeting on and the 4th, yeah. the Thursday of The Snow January. Hill is not open, is it? Uh, no, we're having a real problem with that this year. Okay. <laughs> What's that now? The Snow Hill. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and the ice, well, I suppose the ice rink must be quite fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Today? Uh, yeah, it's been, okay. we've had good weather for, okay. for that for the last couple of days. Okay. Pat, is there anything from the conservatory? Um, it's a new year, new board. Um, we're just working on goals and budget, so right. no activity to report otherwise from the conservancy. Thank you. Do you meet monthly? Um, the executive committee meets monthly, and the board meets approximately every other month. Uh. All right. Pam, is there anything from the, uh, as far as the township board is concerned? Uh, well, we're meeting on Monday, and uh, I understand that Dale uh, is negotiating for an offer for a lot that uh, we thought might make a good addition to open space. Okay. And um, is that going to be brought up at this meeting or not? Uh no, other than I was going to mention the same thing, but that's fine. That's okay. what I was going to mention. So what you're saying that there is a rather large piece of property that's in the negotiation stage right now. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, the trail policy, I understand, is forwarded to the township board, but I haven't seen it on the agenda yet. Is that a, a commitment from Dale to put it on in the near well, future? That, that commitment is strictly on the board. Whenever they want to put it on the agenda, that's fine. Okay, we're not. Uh, just let us know when it's going to be on the agenda. Do you think I should put a good word in and see if it can be? If you want to, that's fine. Because uh, may not apply during the winter months, but as soon as the weather breaks. Okay. Uh, just make sure that they have a copy of the policy that we currently have mm -hmm. for our committee. Okay. And do you have the current amount in the fund, in our open space fund? 
in what fund? In the maintenance fund? No, in, in the uh, how much we have. I we believe have. it's close to a million one, million two. Mm -hmm. And in the maintenance fund is about uh, close to $500,000. Is five thousand? You said five hundred thousand. Oh, okay. That's five thousand. Five thousand sounds like. I think it's four eighty or four ninety. It's like a little bit under five hundred thousand. And I would like to place on a discussion in the future, um, reviewing the property that we've listed that we feel would be uh, best suited to open space, because I have a feeling that this may be our last chance to purchase property for open space and I'd like to just lay out what our a decision was I think three or four years ago we made a list and I'd like to just revisit that and see if our priorities are still the same okay we can do that uh, as per our procedure that should be done in closed uh, session mm -hmm. because of dealing with property purchases. Mm -hmm. Each of you have a copy of that document. Um, I'll look at it and make absolutely certain that it's up to date. Mm -hmm. If it's not, I'll, uh, well, if it goes to that, I'll just email you each a copy of that. That'd be great. Okay. That would be great. And uh, Art knows all about this, but maybe some of your others. We have come up with the Beautification Committee, a, I think, a beautiful brochure about keeping the island green and clean. And um, we talked about it at our meeting to see if Rose, when she welcomes new residents, mm -hmm. might slip one of these in <laughs> along with what we're telling people about keeping our open space uh, protected and Okay. Clear of litter and sure, I but she hasn't been to our last couple of meetings. Yeah, she? and we're going to talk about that uh, issue. She hasn't. She's uh, she's been very very busy with other things. So mm -hmm. we're going to have to make a, a decision here quickly as far okay. as what we're going to do. But yes, uh, but she's still mailing out a welcome letter. <laughs> I b I believe she is. Mm -hmm. but we have to discuss that whole issue. <coughs> okay. okay. Would anybody like one of yeah, those like pretty yeah. flyers? Yeah. Oh, you do <laughs> have? Yeah, I got one from you. In December. How many do you have? No, I don't want one right now, but how many do you have? Well, we printed 1,000. We printed 500, but there was a mistake made, and then they offered a sec second 500 at a, at a much reduced rate. So cool. we got 1,000 of them. And how many has been passed on? Um, I, can't, I can't answer that. We will know tomorrow night. But um, 100, 200. Oh, probably that many. But a few more than that. All right, I'm just curious. But the idea is that we're not we're not out there passing them to everybody. We want to make sure that they get in the hands of the people who want them. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, they're going they're going to places like um, like the realtors. Okay. And they're available, you know, at the township the office. Opportunity for sale. Yeah. In other words, they're there for for information purposes, um, okay. not. Um, not just to pass them out for the, for the sake of passing them out. What I can do is I can get in touch with uh, with your permission. Uh, uh, I can get in touch with Rose, and uh, as far as the welcoming, a welcoming I think letter. I think that uh, she probably would have, has, if she's still active in that. Yeah. Um, she probably has been contacted, and she probably has some by Michelle okay. Babcock. Okay. I'll I'll call Cause, her. Cause, uh, I'll she, it was call. mentioned that we 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 do we do want to see when they. Um, are sending a letter of uh, welcome to new residents on the island that they mm -hmm. are presenting with one of these. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Uh, That's uh, it. Okay. Thank you. As far as the welcome letter is concerned, Rose is not here. I haven't been able to contact her, so um, I'll have to find out what the uh, latest status is on the uh, welcome letter program. All right, moving along to the first action item. What about property acquisition? Well, we talked about that. Oh. <laughs> Didn't we? Well, yeah. okay. That we will go into uh, 
closed meeting. No, no, no. What, I, what you said was that there's a large piece of property that's mm -hmm. being reviewed, and you mentioned that, and I said, yes, it is, and the negotiations are proceeding. And that's the only one that... That's um, the only one. In. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, uh, for us, action items is concerned, as you know, uh, we had a uh, first pass at a, uh, we'll call it a wood cutting program. It was held on Grosio Parkway uh, to the open space property on the north side. North side. And uh, uh, three of us participated as overseers, Woody uh, Clark, Dale Polarski and myself uh, uh, thought it went quite well. Woody, would you want to expand on it? That's mm -hmm. about it. No, it's, it's, I wish that more people would have showed up. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try it one more time, and if it doesn't, then we're going to go outside and let everybody come mm -hmm. if they want to cut the wood. You mean, yeah, you mean outside? Outside neighbor, outside Rosio residence, because we don't have enough. We want to clean it up. We don't want to be just piddling around if we're going to do this. Uh, you know, when we were first discussing this, Art made the point that cer to a certain degree, um, fallen wood is not a bad thing. So when you talk mm -hmm. about cleaning it up, um, you know, I've, I've been a little unclear about this all the way along, what our intent is. Is the idea that we're removing all fallen logs or just in targeted areas? Well, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Areas right at the moment. Okay. And we're working on Parkway. There's another area that I'd like to see over there on Meridian where TNT came in and just dropped them. And they're laying there all over the place. It would be nice to get people in if they want the wood to come in and cut it. I guess I don't see a reason to go outside Grosio. And I'd also want to be real specific about mm -hmm. what properties um, we want to have cleared out at all just because I'm not sure except you know if if it's blocking deer paths or existing trail for people that's one thing but if it's otherwise just in the open areas that it's wooded and you know and nature's going to take its course I'm not sure why um, okay. why, why we want to make it so broad and have yeah. open it up for so many people to be pulling the wood out there when there's a benefit mm -hmm. to having it there well some of these places don't look that great but yeah, that's what I was going to say, Pat. I, I agree with you. I mean, I, I live in a, a wooded area also, mm -hmm. and uh, fortunately, not a lot of trees have fallen. Mm -hmm. But there are places on the island where people are even going onto our property, especially up at the Marion Park one that I watch, and they're pulling they're pulling things out, and they're all stacked. You know, they're stacked up there. They're not going to. If they ever, you know, will I'll be dead before they mm -hmm. uh, disintegrate enough to add anything to the earth? And they're they just look ugly, and I don't think they're I don't think they're safe either. You know, how is it so unsafe if it's timbers that have already fallen? And, well, and that's not, what we're they're talking not fallen, about. They're not fallen so safely. They're caught on another tree, or they're they're you know they're they're well, caught. You know. If there's specific instances where it's not safe, then we yeah. have. I mean, I think, there's, I, guess what I'm saying, Pat, is I think there's, I think there's room for both leaving it that will, in, you okay. know, will. Well, I'm, will I'm just going to say something different. And, that is and it. then I think um, since so, and also to chop down. Since okay. most, since most of these um, sites are very visible, yeah. especially after the leaves are off, they look awful when you when it looks like it's totally neglected, like nobody yeah. cares. Yeah, especially if you drive down. Uh, the you know, dead trees that are this big around in all different directions. And like let's say you, you drive down Meridian and you look on, and it's not open space property either, mm -hmm. but you look, you, you drive past the, the golf course. Yeah. Uh, it looks, um, it looks like nobody cares. And I think that that's the wrong impression we want to get. Uh, you have people that are, um, you know, just either visiting the island or, you know, guests of the island. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have the area look like it's neglected. Right, and that's the way it looks on Horseville. I don't know if you've, you've driven down Horseville. Well, maybe you don't because you, when you go to oh, the no, I run Grosio. Horseville. Um, well, yeah, and, and I did take a look, and I guess I haven't noticed that. And the issue isn't just 
I understand your point about aesthetics, but as far as nature taking its course, it's not just that it's going to disintegrate over time, and I recognize they're big. It's also habitat. So I just think we have to be careful, and if we identify specific properties that that's really important to do, that's fine, but I'd still like it to be very specific as far as which properties were doing this and keep it very controlled, and I would still say I don't see opening up this so broadly that we want to draw people off island. I'd like to keep it limited within our control, and again, from a habitat standpoint, I'd like us to really know why we're clearing out what we're clearing out. Pam, do you have any comments? Yeah, well, I can see both sides. I like the idea of keeping our woods natural and letting the fallen trees be habitat for small creatures. There's one important difference, though. We have had an unusual number of trees die because of the ash, the animal ash borer. So we are not working with a normal condition. These trees that we have that we're talking about that are really eyesores, these are trees that were probably 40, 50 years old, something like that, and they die prematurely. They're not natural at all. So these are the ones that you'd like to get out of the way so that they are not eyesores. Well, my words are right out of my mouth. Pests are natural, but my thought is that inside the woods where it's not as visible, trees could lie where they fall until nature breaks them down. But I strongly believe along the edges where people drive, and I don't like it to look neglected like we just kind of let things fall, like a lawn. It's one thing when the bushes grow up in the woods and you can't see it in the summertime, but we have about more than half of the year we have the trees so you can see from the road all the way into the woods just by driving by. So we've got 50 percent of the time we can see anything that's in the woods as long as as far as you can see the woods. And I like the idea of people being able to make a fuel source out of wood that is down on the ground. And I understand one of the problems with the fall cutting, well, I guess it was early in December. Was it the first weekend of December? It was December 3rd. December 3rd, yeah. But the ground wasn't frozen enough to make it easy access in and out so that they could. Well, you couldn't go in right now. The ground is still not frozen. See, we won't have frozen ground here, it doesn't look like, until probably sometime in January. Now, even as cold as it got last night, the ground is still not very firm. So if you get in there and you break that top crust, you know, you're right in the mud. You said it. You're in the mud. So I could not be involved in the December 3rd one because Cornus was ringing bells for the Salvation Army. But the important thing was I did take time to go by and look and see what I could see. And the people that were in the woods, they were working hard to get the wood out because, you know, the ground was soft, it's all muddy. And they had crude vehicles through wheelbarrows and in their arms like this, just carrying the stuff out so there was not it wasn't a slick movement. But, you know, if they were given an opportunity to plan for it and if that were offered to them, like, let's say, between now and let's say the end of March, when when the ground, the frost will come out of the ground, they could you probably have more more people doing it because they could get in there with wheelbarrows or or even even hand trucks and they could just stack the wood up on them. Or take the ATVs. What's that? Or take the ATVs and bring them out. Yeah, they could do that. But the idea is that it just looked like they were really struggling, really working hard to get the wood to the to the 
edge of the woods where they could get it and put it in their trailer or in their trunk of their car or whatever. Okay. We have a wood-cutting neighbor that uh, the church has allowed him to go into their property and clear out wood, but he heats his home with wood heat, and he's delighted to be able to go into the church woods. And um, he, I don't think he was part of the December 3rd wood-cutting, but um, I, I would like to see us offer island residents first choice and then reevaluate maybe next year to see if we want to widen it. Uh, if I can understand and hear what everybody's saying, it, it appears that uh, first of all, if we do have a wood cutting program, it's got to be controlled. Controlled in terms of uh, uh, monitoring. It's got to be controlled in terms of when we do it, and it's got to be controlled. Uh, in other words, we want to have the residents have first first crack at it. We can't have uh, wood cutting done indiscriminately because of its rooting the environment. In other words, we said nature take its course, which I think is extremely important. And I think the reason we got into this thing in the first place was, f first of all, uh, some residents raised questions. We have all this dead wood. Why can't we use it to, you know, uh, use it for firewood? I that's see what, it as a service, uh, what, like our the junk. It's a service yeah. to the resident. Uh, we looked at it from the standpoint of, I'm going by history now. The reason we did it was for two things. First of all, uh, the cutting would uh, provide a means by which. Uh, Wood that's laying on the ground that's, uh, that's unsightly could be removed at no cost to the township by by volunteers, mm -hmm. and the purpose of doing that is to improve the aesthetics of the areas that's adjacent to the uh, uh, you know to the edge or to the roadways. It's, it's visible from people who drive by. Mm -hmm. you know, we don't want to go way back in the woods and start removing. Dead trees. In other words, first of all, the question of getting them out. Mm -hmm. Secondly, it's a question of letting nature take its course, which that's what open spaces are for. Mm -hmm. So, having said that, I think Pat uh, addressing, I think everybody's concerns is that if we continue with this program, it's got to be on a very on a controlled basis, and the area that we decide to have a wood cutting program has to be reviewed by and consensed by our committee. Does that seem reasonable to everybody? Are we going to do it again before? So well, that's what we're, that's what we're trying to decide. So does yeah, anybody? I, I think you've summed it up well. I, I do have um, <coughs> questions that I should have addressed in the original discussion round. Certainly. Were there any objections to the waiver process? Do you know? No. And nobody had a problem with that? No. And are we going to stick to that process? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay. Just sure. wanted just one one to know. Because one. the whole thing was a trial, and I was curious if that yeah, was because of some of the legal... Excuse me, go ahead, buddy. Please. Driver's license is down here. Make a copy, and then they uh, present that. We, we check it to make sure they are present. Okay. Okay. And plus, there was a waiver that, sign I, as well. I asked everyone for their driver's license, and everyone was from Brazil. Okay. And nobody objected to you asking? No. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. That is, I was just curious about the two parts to it. Yeah. It okay. Would, that, 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 point, that, uh, that point would, would remain okay. uh, the same. So, so you're going to do one more trial? I mean, one more? Well, that's, that's what I was um, going to suggest. Uh, should we have another... Uh, go at it. I think everything went went well the first time. Uh, we had um, a What's about six pairs of people. Was it six, about six, six about pairs of people? Six pairs of people, people, people that came in. Uh, we also, uh, as far as some people wanted to bring a friend with them to uh, to help. Uh, when that happened, uh, we had them sign a waiver as well. On site. 
because they hadn't pre-signed yeah, it. Yeah, and also if they asked the question, I'm going to bring a friend, does he need a waiver? We said yes. yes. Good. So that was done. That's smart. So having said all that, um, the area that, my humble opinion, oh, before I bring that up, talking about horse mill, the area on the south side of horse mill, all right, between Meridian and Thoroughfare. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like, I don't know what's going to happen, that, there, that there's going to be a bike trail in that area, mm -hmm. I think. That's yeah. true. Yes. There is. Yes. Yes. There is going to all be of horse mill? No, just on that side. And just on that side. side. Over to the north side after horse mill, after thoroughfare. When you're looking at horse okay. mill from okay. Meridian You'll to... You'll have to run on a bike trail. To, to thoroughfare, there will be a bike trail on the south side. At thoroughfare, it'll you'll go across horse mill. You will go behind the garden area of the bird sanctuary and then go back down on the north side of Horse Mill to Park, Park Lane. Lane. Behind the... You know where the... I know what the deal is. Yeah. Is it behind, you're going to go behind the garden club, around the circle, and come back around? <laughs> just, it's... All it's going to do... You're just going right down Horse Mill. We're going to go way right down horse mill. That's all I want to know. Yeah. And you're going to change sides of the street. You're going to change sides of the street. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now, we have, I haven't been involved in this at all other than Dave. Uh, uh, before we, at the next meeting, I can bring a copy of that letter. That'd be great. Okay, I can do that. But it looks like this is going to happen, what? Well, it's supposed to happen this fall, but yeah. uh, Wayne Johnny. Wayne Johnny's sitting on her ass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> had other priorities. So, so yeah. having having said that, any idea of having a wood cutting program on the horse mill property would be for now yeah. because of the uh, work that's going to be I was going to say, would that, if we know how wide it's going to be yeah. in the area beyond that, I mean, I, I would think that would elevate your interest in the aesthetics because it's not just drive-bys but people walking and bicycling yeah. by I think you're even yeah. more exposed to it if, if you're saying it's an issue of yeah, aesthetics yeah. It would well let's see as far as that let's yeah. see what let's see what happens okay. after they get through putting the trail in and then we can take a look at it again. our next meeting is beginning of February and that's still uh, there's still a fair amount of yeah. frozen ground time after that yeah. should we plan to come to the next meeting with candidate properties to to discuss for the next cut? Yes, I would say so. Does that make sense? We, can, we can talk about okay. we can, one of the areas that uh, I would be interested in would be the area on Meridian, just north of Gore Road. That area in there looks terrible, and that might be a, a good area. But uh, mm -hmm. north of Rucker. Would it be north of Rucker? Yeah, not north of Grove, north of Rucker. Okay. Oh, it's still not to grow. Yeah, I don't know. So, let's, okay, okay. let's, for the next, that's a, and it doesn't take uh, uh, a long time after we decide on a piece of property to put it into effect. Sure. Okay. You just need to publicize it. Mm -hmm. We'll just have to publicize it. So, I think that's a good point. Let's decide consents on uh, the next area. Each of us take a look at, at the areas involved and uh, make a list of the pros and cons and then uh, select the one that we want to do next. So, is it Wayne County Road Commission that's going to be doing the bike trail? No, no, no. I don't. We have to get a permit from. Got to get a permit. Got to get. Yeah. So, so there's because a I new just commission, yeah. a bike hike commission. It's going to have for Wayne County. Your name. Yes. No, for, oh, for us. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, it's a commission, okay. but it hasn't. Been started. Yeah, up I just I'm, I'm I'm just kind of planning echoing, stage. I'm I'm echoing and agreeing with Pat and disagreeing with with Cliff. Okay. In that, uh, the horse mill one seems like one that we should do some collaboration here, with the with the building of that those bike trails. Okay. And and work there, you know, so we can you know maybe in February we can do some preliminary uh, clearing. Wow. You know, for uh, 
on horse mill rather than going elsewhere. Well, why don't you wait till they put the bike path in because they're going to go eight feet with the pay, with the pavement or with the asphalt or whatever you want to call it for the bike path. Then we have to go in from there. It's not bad on that side. There isn't hardly any problems with wood on horse mill. Okay, so that's not a good candidate, is what you're saying. On the side side. No, oh, okay. I guess, on the north side, we cleaned it out already. Okay. You yeah. can only go in 40 feet okay. to clean it out. And TNT cleaned it all the way from Park Lane to Meridian on horse mill. Both sides? The north side. North side, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'll double check that because I well, didn't we think we all had cleaned it. If trees fall, we have them come in. Okay. But what's what's the status out. of this commission? You say it's it's still in progress. You're not taking applications for it, it yet, or are you? Uh, no, I haven't heard a word. Um, it was passed. It was made into a, officially made a commission. Okay. And it's that bike right? slash pedestrian oh. commission. Oh, okay. Ranka. And, um, Ranka. Yeah, Eric has been steering it, and uh, Brian Pollock, who's pretty new to the island, but uh, he works in with Semcog. Oh, wonderful! In non-motorized. Uh, oh, okay. So there'll be a yet another another commission, or mm -hmm. committee, and it'll be called the Bike Path Committee. Is that but the, you don't know when they'll be taking slash applications for pedestrian. <laughs> uh, I haven't heard anything. But okay. okay. I can check with uh, sure. Eric to see. And I was going to remind, didn't we hear from Barbara Carroll when she was here that they would like to clear some of the dead wood out of the garden club uh, property, the bird sanctuary? Yes, but she, uh, uh, I believe she has some work to do with her committee to decide what should be done there. Mm -hmm. okay, so I think we'll just wait for her to make her recommendations mm -hmm. and, and uh, decide what we have to do. Uh, it's very possible that whatever she does, decides that has to be done, that we might have to have a professional person go in there and do it. Okay, so what we're going to do is that we will, each of us, uh, present some uh, uh, property or a property that we will uh, have our next uh, uh, woodcutting program. And uh, what I will do is I will bring a copy of the uh, proposed bike path on Horse Mill and bring it to the committee uh, next month. Now, at that meeting, uh, we will make a decision as to uh, what property we will have, we will select as woodcutting, and I don't see any problem at all with scheduling that should we decide on a, on a uh, piece of property having that scheduled for March. Okay. Do you see any problem with that, uh, anybody? Just availability of oversight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's because it has to be monitored. Right. You're talking early March, right? Yeah, I would think so. Before the frost. Before the frost goes. Who knows what the weather is going to be like in March? Nobody. Okay. Thank you. As far as the revamping of the OOC program, I have the, uh, I'm sure I, I reviewed with, with each of you a draft of the letter that we intend to send to selected residents to see if they would like to have overseers. Would you want me to resend that draft to you for an update? I appreciate it. I was okay. looking for it before this meeting because I saw it in the notes and also saw it on the agenda. The other part of it that I'm not clear on is you said selected residents and were we going to name or nominate residents when you say selected or I how think are residents being selected as prospective oversight? Well, the purpose of the letter is to request candidates. That, that was the intent. So it's going to be a blanket letter to all neighboring property owners? I believe what we should do is uh, no. I, I, that would be rather cumbersome. I think it should be just people selected at random. Okay. Um, what are random people going to be doing? To request. Now, what we want to do, we want to have people uh, selected to, to act as uh, assistant overseers, if you will. Oh, you mean the neighbors of the uh, places? People that live adjacent uh, to the... I had the... Uh, okay. 
I guess what concerns me is I just want to make sure that we don't um, sign the letter any, to anybody who's been specifically trespassing or transgressing or using the property as their own because that's going to be a fox and a hen house situation. And we do have yeah. situations mm -hmm. like I'm sure that. We do. I'm sure we do. Oh, I know we do, and I don't want to put that. Uh, you know, I give that to. Uh, <laughs> No. Okay, I don't have it here in the book. I have it in my files at home. Okay. I will I will resend I email you the a copy of that draft letter uh, with a further explanation of, uh, of uh, how the resident should be selected. Take a look at it. Okay. And I would like to have that finalized at the next meeting for sure. Okay. Okay. So I'd like to get those letters out by. Uh, no later than the end of uh, February. Okay. I guess, Cliff, I thought another part of who was not so much the letter, I thought that had been settled as who on this commission is responsible for what. Like, I know I've got the one that's north of Voight and so forth up on the Yeah, I have that right here. Do I have that? Do yes, I have that list with all of this on yes. Because I somehow don't seem to have that. Well. Actually, if you could resend that updated list, okay. I'd appreciate that too. Okay, you want an update of the? Uh, if you wouldn't mind. Right. So my to do's are to uh, okay. I gotta make a note myself. Yeah. Send out uh, an letter. open space uh, letter mm -hmm. and the overseer list. And then did you have to write down the old horse mill bike path layout? Yes. Okay, thanks. Okay. The next item is the trail uh, guidelines. We kind of talked about that. Uh, right now, uh, that decision is, uh, is pending by the uh, Township Board. And we're just waiting for their uh, review and discussions. And Pam, if they have any, any, any additional information that they need in which to discuss and or make some uh, uh, recommendations for uh, an action on this issue, mm -hmm. let me know. Dale has it in his hands. He should have, yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. And um, could, could you folks let the rest of the committee know when it is on the agenda? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. I would intend if, if available. Have we heard anything more about Josh's project with the trees? No. It's up to, you know, I guess uh, I, if I look at the, uh, at the minutes, the committee thank Josh for his open space. The committee will meet to discuss the approval to approve funds for the sign construction. Josh will provide a sample sign along with the number of signs required. So what Josh has to do is uh, get back with us and say, say that he needs 15 signs, 20 signs, and then we'll decide, we'll, uh, you know, uh, make a motion to uh, approve the funds to construct those signs. I so think I, I did send him a note about my friend's yeah. big tree in her backyard that she's very willing to. Okay. Diane Bridges, she's got a okay. really unique oh, tree nice. in her backyard. Who knows, Josh? Do you know? Mm -hmm. do you know no, I just know him from meeting him here. Okay. I don't know him yeah, he's the one that called. Uh, yes, what you uh, ask him that we're waiting for. Uh, <laughs> uh, basically, what we're looking for here is. Uh, um, he had a sample of the sign, as I recall. He had a sample of the sign. He, he pretty, he's pretty much got it. Uh, he's got the plan complete. Yeah. So did he have a price for it? Well, that's. Uh, mm -hmm. The price and number is the other part of it. Yeah. Yeah, in other words, okay. he has a sign, but mm -hmm. how many does he need? Mm -hmm. so he's got how, how much is it going to cost? He's got, he's got to find the sign, find the trees that he wants uh, to um, to mark. I think he said he had 22 that he uh, went through the woods with um, okay. with uh, what's Doug that? Thiel? Doug Thiel. Okay. Well, yep. you know, ask him to get back to us, mm -hmm. or you, unless you want to contact him, and then he gives it to you, and you give it to us. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to decide on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alrighty. Right. Uh, so are we done? I believe so, unless somebody else, there's no, nobody here, no public comment. Uh, let's just go around. Art, do you have anything further? No, I don't, I don't have anything. What do you? Morrison. 
Lee? No. Nope. Pam? Uh, just reinforce my request to have a closed session to review property so we can make sure that we've got a priority that we all agree on and okay. should focus on. Okay. Got nothing. I have, uh, I have nothing. Move make a motion with me. Adjourn. Second. We're ready. Right now it's um, about 18 minutes to stay. Mm -hmm. I got, my I got 20. Okay. Slow. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you